So if they give me angle, side, angle, side, side, angle, side, 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 uh, side, side, how do I know when I should worry about the ambiguous case? The ambiguous case should be a thought. If you have side, side, angle, only, only in this instance should you think about, hey, are there two triangles or one or none at all? Right, so you should worry about two triangles only when it's SSA. So for instance, here, you don't have to worry about this because this is angle, side, angle. This guy, it only has one triangle at most. Uh, what about this? This is like a side, side, angle. So here, you gotta think about ambiguous case. How about here? This is side, side, side. Now here, there's only one triangle at most. So you don't have to worry about ambiguous, ambiguous, no. This one is, um, what is this? This is like angle, side, side, or, or side, side, angle, yeah. So this one, you have to worry about the ambiguous case. Side, side, angle, or, or angle, side, side, we know what that spells, which is why we go SSA instead of ASS, right? So if you have the arrangement of SSA, we must discuss the ambiguous case. What if you have just like the information? Which of these is ambiguous case? So notice here, if I put like A and B and C, then I'm given big A, the angle, I'm given little a, and I'm given little c. So it's ambiguous case when you have two of the same letter, one uppercase, one lowercase. How about over here? Let's call this P, Q, and R. And what are we given? We're given big Q, we're given little q, and we're given little r. See, we have the same letter, uppercase, lowercase. So whenever you have the same letter, upper, lowercase, you're dealing with the ambiguous case that you should think of. So for instance, here, ambiguous case, because I have two of the same letter. Here, nope, no ambiguous case, because it's three different letters, three different letters, uh, the same two letters, BB, and three different letters. So only here would I worry about the ambiguous case. Now let's actually do two problems where you can see how it works. Let's begin, I guess, with this one here. So how should I draw my triangle given this, this, and this? I always draw my triangle just a basic looking shape. However, I am not gonna label them yet. What I'm gonna do with a given angle, you'll be given one angle if it's ambiguous case. The given angle, I put it there in the bottom left. And it's gonna stay there forever. And then, of course, A matches with A, which is how I know it's ambiguous case. The same letter, one upper lower case. Little baby two would have to go there. And then the third, the other piece of information is another side. It's usually one angle, two sides. So one, the only angle goes there. And I'm forced to put its corresponding side across. How about this guy? Where could I put this? I always put the extra side here on the left. I like to leave this empty. That's just a personal preference. Always leave this empty. Now solve this triangle. Let's find this angle here by going law of sines like we did before. So we can go sine of dot over three equals sine of 34 over two. And if we solve this on a triangle, we're gonna get like, um, about 57 degrees for the dot. And let me use a different color, 57. Let's call it 57 degrees. And now let's go 57 plus 34, and let's take that away from 180 to get 89 degrees up there. So we found this one, law of sines, we added, subtract from 180, so we have all the angles, now we need the third side. So maybe we can go law of sines again. I'm gonna go sine of 34 is to two as the sine of 89 is to this double dot, that third side there, solve for the double dot. Two times sine 89, I'll divide that by sine 34, 
and I got about 3.57. Let's call it 3.57. So I have solved this triangle. Let me do, let me do this in purple, 3.57. So this triangle has been solved. The question is, is there another triangle? And here is how you can make that decision, okay? Why don't we draw again the, uh, the, the triangle like this? Watch, let me go like that. Let me go like this. But I have to keep the pink because that's the original. The purple is the answer, but the original is the pink, pink, pink. So like this is gonna stay 34. This is gonna stay three and this is gonna stay two. Now here's what I want you to visualize. Pretend I have like a nail and like a hammer. And let's say that the nail goes here, right? And I'm gonna grab the hammer and go bang, bang, bang. So right here, it's like a door hinge. And this is the door. And this door can go like that, look, it can slide in, you see that? It's gonna slide in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this two, it's gonna slide in, and now the two is right there, right? And so now I have this other potential second triangle. So that's how you can get a second triangle is by grabbing this side and sliding it in. But the question is, does this triangle exist? Let's talk about that now. So let's keep the three here. Let's keep the two here. And this is 34. Now let's go back over here. You see that 57? Can we agree that the 57 is right there? And can we agree that if I put my hand right there, can we agree that this triangle is isosceles because it's two and two, it's isosceles. And remember, really quick FYI, if you have isosceles triangle, then this angle matches with this one. These are congruent. Really quick FYI. Isosceles triangle, these are the same. So if this one's 57, this one is 57. So I'm gonna put 57 right there. Now let me grab a different color. Let's go here in baby blue. How much is that little blue angle worth? Well, another thing I wanna remind you is that blue is worth 180 because it's a straight angle. And if this is 57, go 180 minus 57, and this little guy is 123. And let me put a 123 right there. So now the question is, is this possible? Is this possible here? What's 123 plus 34? 123 plus 34, 157. So let me subtract that from 180, and I get back 23 degrees. So a second triangle in this case, yes, it is possible because the 123 plus the 34, it was below 180. And so there's room for another angle there. And so then you can go law of signs to find this guy. And so you'd have two triangles. You'd have this triangle here and you'd have this triangle there. But of course, I'll let you find this missing side there if you want to. And it's always gonna be this side here. It's always gonna be this one that goes like this, like it slides in like that. Always this guy, it always slides in like this. Let's try one more. So this one has two triangles, right? Two triangles. How about this one here? Let's do the same thing like we did before. Like that there. The given angle, I put it in the bottom left. And then matching across is its side. And then the other side, I put it there. And now let's find this dot right here. So it's gonna be sine of dot over 12, sine of 30 over 16 law of sines. It's gonna be 12 times sine of 30 divided by 16, and then a sine inverse of that. I got back 22 degrees. So here in purple, this is 22 degrees, and then 22 plus 30, and then 180 minus that, 128. All right, and then uh, I can find this here with more law of science, but that doesn't really matter. The purpose of this video is to decide if there's one or two triangles. So now we know that one triangle works. The question is, is there a second triangle? Let's find out. So let's do what we did in the first part. Go like this here. We're gonna keep the 30. We're gonna keep the 12. 
The 16, it's gonna be nailed there and it's gonna go and it's gonna slide in to be right there. And so now this is your 16 here. And now the 22 degrees is there. So this is 22 and this is 22. And then 180 minus 22 is, uh, what is that, like 158? And the 158 would go there because it has to be a semicircle, which is 180 here. Now there's a problem. In this blue triangle, we have 30 degrees and 158. If you add them, that's 188. Bro, that's more than 180. So there's no room for an additional angle. These two angles have to be below 180. If they're above, this is bad. And so there is no second triangle and there would only be one triangle in this case.